and welcome. I'm glad you're here today. In this video, we're going to paint a little Carolina Wren. It's a species that's dear to me. I love these little guys. They're one of my favorites and they always, there's always a nest on my side porch at my house. And I love watching them. They're very busy bringing uh, spiders and flies and little insects and things that they're catching. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> on my side porch and they're feeding their little families and I they just are a bird that I've always enjoyed so in today's video it's going to be a real quick study of the Carolina Wren and I will have this um, of course here on YouTube you're going to see the uh, time-lapsed version but if you're one of my patreon patrons you get to watch the full-length tutorial which is about a little over an hour so be sure to uh, look into the and look into my Patreon and uh, become one of my patrons. That way you get to watch all the fun stuff and the behind the scenes as well. So again, thanks for joining me. And if you are my subscribers, thank you so much. And if you're not, go ahead and uh, and uh, consider subscribing and uh, hit that owl in the corner. And uh, without further ado, let's jump in on this little Carolina Wren. Okay, now we started off with just a little bit of a pencil sketch, and I'm just doing the blocking in stage. At this point, obviously, there is no detail work. It's very much a direct method of painting. Since this is a la prima, I, I just have to put the colors down through observation that I'm seeing through my reference. This was basically a demo for for YouTube and for Patreon. I did do a loose pencil sketch and I wasn't planning on doing any background on this piece so I have to make sure that my uh, uh, pencil sketch is pretty accurate as I am not using any background paint to inch off any uh, too much bill or too too thick a throat or what have you I'm not able to make actual corrections with the uh, background paint and I'm lucky that I actually got a pretty accurate sketch here you can see there's just a little bit of blending uh, through the neck area I put the gray down and of course that dark gray that you see is just the base color because I will be layering colors on top. That's the, that's where the detail will come in, but I'm not at that point yet. You know, keep in mind this entire piece basically took me just a little over an hour to do and I'm, I, I have to keep the paint somewhat thin. The substrate that I'm painting on is a wood panel that has been primed with acrylic paint. That gray background is just acrylic paint. And the actual substrate being wood is quite absorbent. So just using a little bit of paint and the oil just gets pulled right into it. So I have to be pretty accurate in my, um, you know, while I'm laying down the paint here. Okay, we're progressing right along, laying some more paint down. Now, <laughs> as you're listening to all this beautiful, soft music, 
with the birds singing in the background. If you're on my Patreon station, you're getting not, a, you're unfortunately getting to hear my crazy dialogue uh, with me talking about ridiculous stuff uh, in real time, but I'm also explaining the brushes, which brushes I'm using and um, how I'm mixing the paint. Here, you just see how I'm just, you know, I have to gray down some of the areas. It was a little too brilliant in color, like I said, I have to be able to do this a la prima. So yeah, the challenges are, you know, you're doing your mixing right on the actual substrate. And then you can see I'm starting to lay a little bit of detail in there in the flank area of this bird. It's the fun stuff.
Okay, we're getting close to the end, and here you're gonna see that I'm trying to get in as many of the field identifying characteristics of this particular species. Um, obviously, the Carolina wren, being a wren, does have a very erect tail, that's evident. But they also have the, just the little, the wing bars and the stripe that goes through the eye. All of these are just identifying features for this particular species. As I'm working very quickly, I'm having to remind myself about these things, all the identifying features. And this are wonderful challenges that I've had through this piece is that it's, it's keeping me on top of things of, as an artist and also as a wildlife artist and conservationist. I, I, you know, I want to, I want to do this bird justice and I also want to do a great representation of this bird. And here, I think we're about getting, we're, we're wrapping it up here in just a little bit. I'm just adding a little bit more white on that, um, that eye stripe there. But we're getting close, getting real close. Good. I enjoyed this piece. This was a great challenge for me. It was I was able to knock this out in about an hour, which that's that's me painting speedy fast. And 
while I was painting this, I'm actually videotaping this in real time, which can be viewed on my Patreon page. And so through the whole process while I'm painting it, I am telling my viewers, my patrons on Patreon, what colors I'm using, how I'm mixing the paints. Um, I probably am talking about what I'm going to have for lunch. I mean, seriously, it's just an ongoing dialogue that goes on. And uh, so don't miss that. Be sure to check it out on Patreon. And, uh, but yeah, this turned out really well. I am super, super pleased with this little Carolina Wren. I can pull you in a little bit to see some of the detail. I'm trying to hold it so you don't have too much of the wet paint shine that goes, but you know, you can see that wet paint shine. But I really dig these little birds anyway, so for me, they're always fun to paint. But yeah, I'm pleased, I'm pleased. And I hope you were too. So again, thanks so much for joining me. And if you are my subscribers, thank you so much. And if you're not, please consider subscribing. And if you have any questions about the process that I did here, or maybe you even want to suggest something you'd like to see me paint, you know, go ahead and leave that in the comments section and I'll get to it. I'll look it over and see what we got there. And uh, again, thank you so much for joining me. And until next time from Kingsport, Tennessee, I'll see ya. Bye.